All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an absolutely amazing, phenomenal uh, idea that you can take right now and create your first portfolio app. And this is totally different than everything I've done before. And this is in accordance with what I'm about to do for my students, for my clients. So you can take this and attempt doing it on your own if you can. But I want to show you like a foolproof way that you can build a real project. Okay, no more uh, silly apps, no more weather apps, no more of those apps that you learn to build in a bootcamp where you pay like 20 grand. None of that shit. Okay, something real, something like truly amazing. I cannot tell you how amazing this thing is. I'm telling you this so you can watch until the end because this might be a very long video because it's going to be a bit randy. Okay, I just thought about this and I put it in like in a video perspective in my brain as I was in the gym and I decided to help you out. Okay, I want to help you start 2023 with a banger. Okay, and this is for someone that's uh, a little bit you know advanced okay so if you've been learning coding for a while and whatnot and if you have decent skills in front end back end and whatnot that's a good video for you but if you don't have those skills no problem still watch it because it's going to give you some ideas about what you have to do in the future because at some point if you want to become a developer you need to actually make this so at least you have an idea of what your end goal is because if you know what your end goal is then you can reverse engineer it and um, figure out the steps that you need to take so uh, that's pretty much it okay so let's jump straight into these things <clears throat> so what you'll actually be making is a micro SaaS okay a SaaS is the short for software as a service and it's actually S A A S SaaS and there are a bunch of SaaS applications. For example, Notion is a SaaS. Google Docs is a SaaS. I'm using Zapier, which is like an automation tool. I'm using Close.io. I'm using Active Campaign. There are a bunch of SaaS applications out there that you are probably using. And if you're not using them, I'm 100% guaranteeing you that some businesses are using them. And the idea behind this is that we want to create a micro SaaS or a SaaS in general, some sort of tool that's going to help someone achieve a certain thing. So how do you come up with a SaaS idea? Because that's the first thing, right? What application should you build? Well, I was thinking, I have no idea what SaaS to build. So I Googled micro SaaS. Everything starts with you thinking, okay? Do not rely on me to tell you what to do. I'm just giving you ideas and you have to implement them. I do this stuff for my clients, okay? So they don't have to, but if you are by yourself, you need to starting i googled micro SaaS ideas and i have a few websites that are pretty interesting to me this is the first one that i checked yesterday and maybe i'm gonna check this one as well but i just want to show you what is about so they'll give you an idea about an app okay so build a mock interview platform for candidates to book mock interviews with experts veterans or experienced folks for personalized guidance and one-on-one -on -one feedback because one-on-one -on -one feedback is very important which will actually get in my program as well quick plug in there shortlist a few micro niches familiar to you for example front-end developers full site developers seos data analysts finalize the niche you're most comfortable with and has good market potential mock interview platform specific for seos in the euro market there are over 1,000, 10,000 SEO jobs opening on leading Europe job site, meaning there could be multiple tens of th thousands of aspirants for these jobs. So then you have to build a landing page, promote it and gather interest, a waitlist perhaps, build the MVP using no code tools like Bubble, Builder and voila, start selling. Okay, so this is like very like high level, okay? But if you look at these websites, interviewing IO, Pramp, and interview buddy you can have a look at what these guys are doing okay and reverse engineer their projects yeah their products that's pretty much what you have to do so you reverse engineer the product and then you come up with a few a few main features so i'm going to show you how i've done it for my students for the past app that they were building so this is the crypto app and it had like a description i'm gonna sh not gonna show you the entire description because that's for my students to see but basically what i'm doing here is i'm describing every single thing of this application so the charts they should be doing this 
I should be able to see this. If I see, you know, um, a table, I should see this. And here's where you get the data from and whatnot. Okay. So essentially, once you have this idea, you want to flesh it out into pieces. Okay. You want to create a bunch of uh, features and user stories. So a user story is, for example, as a user, I want to be able to log in. That's a user story. As a user, I want to be able to schedule a call with Christian. As a user, as a user, I want to be able to see my past sessions with Christian. So you create all these um, features and user stories, and you describe them in detail in a Notion document. Okay, I'll recommend you Notion because it's free. You can also use Google Docs. That's what I used uh, in the past. And yeah, that's the first thing. The whole point of this is to create this application to look as close as possible to a real startup. Okay, so you don't want to have, you know, funny cat dot how it's called heroku.com. You don't want to have that. You want to have like a proper domain. So, for example, interviewing.io. Okay, so it needs to look like this. If, if I even think about it, you don't even need to create the application. You just need to create a proper, you know, landing page. That's all, right? So let's go from like the basics of what your app is doing to the next thing, which is the design, okay? So you can go on Fiverr and I know there are a bunch of sellers on Fiverr, but I wouldn't recommend you to go and get a $5 design because that's gonna be, you're gonna get what you're paying for, okay? $50 design is gonna look like a $50 design. And if you wanna look like you're working for a legit company, then you need to have like a sick design, okay? So I found this guy on Fiverr, his name is Remove. And for what I'm suggesting you to do is to get this 1,000 pounds, which is $1,200 uh, product, which is gonna give you six pages. And the basic one is like one page. So in your application, you have multiple pages because recruiters might log, in, might log in to check out what you've been doing at that company, the fictitious company that you are working at, um, or developers might log in and they wanna see like a real application. They don't wanna just see like a landing page that doesn't work, you know what I mean? So get the legit design and at the end, it should look something like this, okay? This is the new design that I have for my students. And there will be like probably another five or six um, pages added to this and different states for my application and whatnot, like loading states, etc., etc. I don't want to show you too much because then you'll copy it and I don't want that because then you'll have my students will have competition. Right. So I'm not going to get into detail with that, but I'm just showing you like what you should be doing if you want to be successful in 2023 and beyond. OK, so get the design done and make sure it's legit. It looks good. And then you also need to be prepared to spend another 1000 bucks because you'll have changes as you're building it. You realize, oh, I need to add this. I need to add this. I need to remove this. I need to change this, you know, so you have alterations. So have at least $2,000 ready to spend on a designer because otherwise your website or web app won't look as good as it could. Okay. Cause you're not a designer, you're a developer, or I hope you want to become a developer and design is not your main thing, if that makes sense these websites here have some text right so how do you come up with this text because this text is important to make you look legit well i found this tool called jasper ai which pretty much takes commands from you so you will say something like find no write a headline for a product that does this okay and then this thing is going to create the headline for you then you'll say write a description for a product that does this and then this thing is gonna write it for you. So uh, it's basically outsourcing your copywriting skill. It's free for like three days or something like that. And it's plenty of time for you to come up with all the text for your pages. Because if you go to any of these um, websites, you see part of what makes a website legit is like this stuff at the bottom, okay? So you might wanna look into filling in your privacy policies, community rules, disclaimer, make all this stuff like look real okay <laughs> as real as possible i'm not even joking so you really want to treat it like it's a real business that's hiring you to create a startup for them okay super important i'm not joking okay so 
I just want to drill this in your head, okay? Cool. Now that you have this, you need to choose some of the tools that you'll be working with, okay? First one is GitHub. So you'll be using GitHub, probably already know this. And with GitHub, you can just store your code, okay? You can make your uh, repo private. You don't even need to show it to the world. That's the cool thing about this. Because once you do this product, nobody will even have to see your code or even see your app. They just need to see that you've been working for a legit company that you've created it, okay? So it's, a, it's, it's weird. I know it's difficult for some people to wrap their heads around it. And as you can see, I'm super excited for this because I was thinking that this is not possible, but I just came up with it and I'm sharing it with you, okay? And the next thing that you need to do is to use uh, this tool called Utrack by JetBrains. So an alternative, this is an alternative to Jira. Jira costs money if you have more than five users. And for, for example, for what I want to do with my, with my uh, clients, they will be working in a, a people of ten, a team of ten people, right? So Utrack is way better for that because it's free. Okay, so I want to keep things free. I don't want to pay one hundred dollars per month for, for everyone to push code that nobody will ever see, you know. But I want to create the developer environment. And this tool is as close to that as possible. The other one would be Trello, which is free. But again, I think you need to pay for um, more than three or five users, users. I don't remember. And Trello is not so software development oriented. Okay. But this tool is proper. And then for communication, because you need to have a team of developers when you come up with this stuff, uh, you need to have at least three people or maybe four people. One that's doing the front end one that's doing the back end, one that's doing DevOps, and one that's doing pretty much everything. Obviously, you guys can change in your team. Maybe you should have a senior developer that's gonna look at your code and make sure that you are um, doing everything right, some sort of manager. Again, this comes with you trying to figure out how to do that by yourself, which I think is gonna be very difficult, but it's possible. Again, I do this for my clients and you, have to figure out how to do it. I'm just telling you what I would do if I would be you, because I believe this is the new way of getting hired in uh, 2023 and beyond, because you cannot just have cookie cutter applications anymore. This is my take on it. Um, make sure you have an email for the domain that you're gonna get. So you're gonna get, let's say you wanna create interviewme.com, because that's the stuff that we had here. So interviewme.com is available for like $15. So you wanna create an email, okay, using uh, G Suite from Google, that will be like your name or info at interviewme.com. You don't wanna have gmail.com if someone was trying to reach you from your website, which you should have a website and the contact form and all that stuff. Again, you wanna make it as legit as possible, okay? Um, that's that. And the other thing for bonus points, create a LinkedIn uh, company profile. So let me show you this. Man, I'm giving you so much stuff. I'm, I'm just upset because nobody is gonna put it into practice and I 100% know that. And it is what it is. And the last thing, yeah. So you can create um, a page on LinkedIn for like a company page where you describe whatever your SaaS is doing and then you put yourself working there, you get a bunch of your friends to be working there at your company, and then that's gonna make it even more legit, okay? This would be my advice for you, and as you can tell, it's totally different than probably any kind of advice that you've received so far, even from me, and I can 100% guarantee you that you've never had this type of advice from any other YouTuber. So do me a favor, like this video, comment, Help me out with the algorithm so more people can see it. Share it on Reddit, in your Facebook groups, in Discord, wherever you are. Help me out so I can make more content like this because if you do not help me out, there is no incentive for me to keep giving you this stuff, okay? Because if I don't get likes, I don't get views, then that means you don't wanna see stuff like this. And if you don't wanna see stuff like this, I'm gonna stop making stuff like this. So like this, like this video, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends and share, show them like what they actually have to do to get hired in 2023. If you just keep this information for yourself, uh, you're not a, 
you're not a cool dude, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you like this video. And if you want to join my program, the link for that is in the description. Join the waitlist because right now it's closed because I'm reorganizing everything so I can fit all this stuff in that I'm telling you about. Because this is what I'm doing, okay? So I'm sharing with you the stuff that I'm doing. That's pretty much what I do. Anyway, peace out.